Hi everyone, Jessica Blassengame here from Beam Financial Group. And in this screencast, we're talking about credit memos and delayed credits and which one you might need for your customers. And we'll talk about how to create them and how to apply them. Um, but there really is, I think, a lot of confusion around, and I, I admit that I was confused in the beginning um, as to how QuickBooks kind of sets this up. But um, once you understand what a delayed credit is versus, versus a credit memo, it's, it's pretty simple. So let's, um, let's talk about a credit memo first. So I'm using this test account and Amy's Bird Sanctuary is our, our customer. And with a credit memo, um, what will happen is either you can have it automatically apply to the oldest invoice, um, and that's a setting that we'd have to set up if you want it to do that. I personally like to have control over it. So if you want control of where the credit gets applied, you create the credit memo and then it just sits in the account here and you can choose which invoice to apply it to. So let's go over those two scenarios with a credit memo. So this, this a credit memo is really assuming that you already have an invoice that's in uh, the customer's account and you want to apply the credit to that already existing invoice. So if we go, let's first talk about that first example I was um, mentioning. So if we go to account and settings, it's a quick setting under advanced here, and we want to turn on automatically apply credits. So what that does is that will automatically apply the credit to, like I said, the oldest invoice that's sitting in the customer's account. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole example, but this is, this is if you want to do that. I personally don't like to do that. I want to have control over where the credit is applied, as you know, which invoice it gets applied to. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck this for now, but just so you know if, if that's something you want to do. So assuming we don't want to do that, and we're going to start by just creating a credit memo. Let's say we made a mistake and we need to credit Amy's Bird Sanctuary here. So we're going to choose the customer. Let's say there was some design hours that you know she's arguing with us and saying it should be a little bit less than what we charged her. So we're going to give her a break and we'll give her $75 off here for custom design. So we're creating the credit first. You can put any notes you want in the credit. So as usual, you're using your items, you know, choosing whatever your item is here. It populates, you can fill in the rate. And then that's, that's pretty much all you're doing. And then you can save and you can just save and close it. Or if you want to send to the customer and tell them that they have a credit, that's an option too. So you can say, of course, save and send. And then it's going to let the customer know that they have this credit, which I think is nice. So we'll say send and close here. So now if we go to the customer's account and, and to get there you would go to sales and then customers and then click on that customer's name. We see that there's a credit mem memo in here and we see that it's unapplied. So it's just sitting there waiting for us. Um, and we decide that we want to apply the $75 against her existing invoice down here that we see is still open, overdue. And so we can do that very easily now by clicking into the invoice you can see there was already one payment made on this invoice, which is fine, but we're going to make an additional, basically it's like making a payment, but we're just putting a credit against this invoice. So if you click on receive payment, and it's going to populate for you, but we want to say that there was nothing received here, but there was $75 received against this invoice. And then we're also going to check this credit. So we didn't really receive any cash or payment. We received, we're applying this credit. So that's why you want to say the amount here. So $75 against the invoice. And then we're checking this credit here, which is $75. So once we save this, it's going to apply that $75 credit against the open balance here, which was $239. So we'll now expect the balance to be 164 once we save this. So let's save and close and then look at this invoice here and we see that the balance is 164. So that's all good now and we've applied that credit and we let the customer know they have that credit. So that's 
pretty much the end of the process here for a credit memo. Now, what we also have as an option is a delayed credit. And there may be an instance where you just want to put a credit in the customer's account and then you want to be able to apply it to an invoice at a later date. Um, so if, if that's the scenario that you want, very easy. Just go up to this quick create plus sign, create a delayed credit. And again, we're going to choose this for Amy's Bird Sanctuary. Let's say same scenario, some design work. We said that we would, let's do $100 this time. We'd give her back a $100 credit. You know, we feel like we messed up on something. You can put any notes if you'd like. And this is just going to save and close. It's not sending to the customer. It's just sitting in their account for a future date. So that's why it delayed credit. And we'll save and close that. And then you can see it here. So if you're ever wondering what credits are sitting in here, you can always go to the account and look at it. So we see that sitting there. It's just waiting for us. Um, so now let's say we're going to create an, an upcoming invoice for Amy's Bird Sanctuary. And really nice, the credit will pop into the margin here. So I like that feature. Um, so let's say we're just going, we're billing her from some design hours. You know, maybe we did like 10 hours this month and, you know, whatever else, some concrete work, you know, just for example. So you've got your normal invoice set up here, totals 804, but then we're going to apply that credit we said we were going to give her. So all we have to do is add it in now and we'll see that there's that $100 credit for that design work. And so now our invoice is 704 and the customer can very clearly say, see, that they got a credit on this invoice. And then you would just either save it or save and send, We're ready to send out your invoice. And that's it. So hopefully you understand now the difference between a credit memo and a delayed credit. I think once you understand, it's, it's pretty straightforward. So just figure out what scenario works best for you and then um, create, of course, plus sign, create either the credit memo or the delayed credit, and then you'll apply it. Um, in the way that you need to. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.